Thomas Tuckle, priority as Man United manager Hunt, takes twist Bayern Munich, have held talks about keeping current head coach Thomas Tuckle, and he now looks set to remain at the Allianz Arena. Thomas Tuckle is edging closer to signing a new contract to stay on as Bayern Munich manager in a move that could be seen as a blow to Manchester United. Sky Germany are reporting that Tuchel is now set to remain in charge of Bayern next season after discussions held between senior club figures and his agents on Wednesday. The former Chelsea manager wants to sign a new two-year contract at the Allianz Arena. While current United boss Eric Ten Hag and Brighton manager Roberto De Zerbi remain candidates for the Bayern job, the club's priority is now to keep Tuchel. If he does sign a new deal that would rule him out of contention to take over at United if Ineos decide to part ways with Ten Hag at the end of this season. While Tuchel always looked an uneasy fit for the new regime, he was the most high-profile manager to be linked with the vacancy and was the bookmaker's favorite for the job. Bayern announced in February that Tuchel would leave this summer after 15 months in the job, but they have been thwarted in their attempts to replace him with Julian Nagelsmann and Ralf Rangnick opting to remain in charge of Germany and Austria, respectively. That has led Bayern to consider a U-turn on Tuchel, who guided the club to the brink of the Champions League final before Real Madrid's dramatic comeback. At Old Trafford, Ineos are yet to make a definitive decision on the future of Ten Hag, who oversaw a crucial 3-2 win against Newcastle on Wednesday and has the FA Cup final against Manchester City on May 25th. Former United striker Michael Owen, speaking to Boyle Sports, pushed the credentials of Tuchel recently when raising the issue of the lack of clear candidates to replace Ten Hag. There is a shortage of managers right now, though. Look at Zidane. He doesn't speak much English, so I'm not sure Man Uti would be on his radar personally, he said. Tuchel would be an interesting one. I think a lot of Chelsea fans regret parting with Tuchel. He is the one big name capable of the job. Roy Keane has admitted that he hopes Eric Ten Hag remains in charge of Manchester United beyond the end of this season, but has warned the club needs to sign four or five world-class players to strengthen the squad. United got back to winning ways on Wednesday night, beating Newcastle United 3-2 at Old Trafford. Kabi Mainu, Ahmad and substitute Rasmus Hodgland were on target to secure a first win in four matches. United produced a much-improved performance, inspired by the return of Bruno Fernandes and the brilliance of Ahmad, who submitted another application to start the FA Cup final at Wembley next week. He was excellent on the right wing, offering United something different to what they have been used to this term. Following the full-time whistle, Ten Hag addressed United's fans, thanking them for their support throughout what has been a difficult campaign. His speech was fueled on belief and passion, insisting his players will give everything to end the season with a trophy. And following the positive nature of his speech, Keane admitted that he admired the Dutchman's positivity, telling Sky Sports, You do admire him. He seems really upbeat there, saying it's a big win. But again, you can't gauge United on beating Newcastle at home. It's about competing in the big games. You are not going to win every week or win championships every year, but you hope that you are up there competing and United have been nowhere near it. But he is trying to be positive, and I like that he is talking about the young players, but you have got to get the mix right. The experienced players haven't done enough, there have been too many injuries, and I do appreciate where he is coming from. Defensively, the injuries have been huge. A huge setback. You still digest all that, but you look at the record, the amount of games they have lost, the goals they have conceded, the lack of goals they have scored, their position in the league, minus two or three goals. All of these things are not good to look at. But you hope he is given another chance in the summer. They have to go out and buy maybe four or five world-class players. They need a couple of center halves, a couple of strikers, someone in midfield. It's a long way back for this football club hinting at a potential future beyond the football pitch. As Pogba delves into the world of cinema, questions abound about his transition from football star to actor. 
Will he draw upon his experiences on the pitch to inform his portrayal of a coach, infusing the role with authenticity and depth? Or will he embark on a new journey of self-discovery, exploring facets of his personality previously unseen? Regardless of the path he chooses, Pogba's venture into acting promises to be a captivating spectacle, offering fans a glimpse into the multifaceted persona of one of football's most enigmatic figures. For supporters eagerly anticipating his return to the football pitch, this unexpected detour serves as a poignant reminder of the transient nature of sporting careers and the resilience required to navigate life's twists and turns. As Pogba navigates this new chapter in his storied career, one thing remains certain. His indomitable spirit and unwavering determination will continue to inspire and captivate audiences around the world, both on and off the field. I hope this longer version meets your needs. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to adjust. As Pogba navigates this transition from football star to budding actor, questions arise about his management style and on-screen presence. Will he draw inspiration from his former managers, implementing their techniques in his portrayal of a coach? Or will he forge his own path, bringing a unique blend of charm and charisma to the role? Regardless of the outcome, Pogba's foray into film promises to be a fascinating journey, captivating audiences with his charisma and talent. For fans eagerly anticipating his return to the football pitch, this unexpected detour offers a glimpse into Pogba's multifaceted personality and his ability to adapt to new challenges. As the football world awaits Pogba's return, his venture into acting serves as a reminder of the unpredictability of life in the spotlight. Whether on the pitch or on the screen, Pogba's presence continues to command attention, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of fans around the world. Manchester United may get their transfer wish after former target Vitor Roque's agent confirmed a possible exit following a rocky debut campaign at Barcelona. The 19-year-old impressed at the no camp after his move last summer, but things have since taken a sour turn. He has recently been dropped by boss Xavi Hernandez, missing Barca's last three games against Real Madrid, Valencia and Girona. Mundo Deportivo claimed that Xavi is not counting on Roque ahead of next season and a loan move is under consideration. Xavi explained, We haven't decided. We will do so at the end of the season. It's not easy coming from another league and another country. He needs more time to adjust and gain more confidence. I think he's capable of playing for Barcelona for a long time. However, his agent Andre Curie has dismissed the idea of him leaving on loan. He said, We chose Barcelona because he wanted to play for Barcelona. I'm certain Vitor is going to be a great player, but if Barca won't play him, we have to look at finding a solution. A loan for a young boy can be harmful because he could go to a club that does not own him and has no interest in taking care of him. This is very dangerous for the boy's career. The best thing is to stay at Barca. But if he can't stay, we will work to get him to leave permanently. Mundo Deportivo, via Forbes, state that the situation is affecting Roque, with one source telling them. The situation he is experiencing at Barca is affecting him enormously and those closest to him admit that the footballer is not having a good time at all. What's more, although he has always stood out for his joy, he now seems sad and even at his home he is not able to disconnect from his situation in the team, even to the point of crying. In addition to United, Napoli, Nice and Olympique Lyon are believed to be keeping a close eye on his situation. La Liga's Sevilla and Betis are also considering a transfer move for the Brazilian. Roque was linked with a